Okay, we've been having a look at uh, raising one note in turn from a diminished chord and finding that by doing so we form a family of minor sixth chords. Uh, let's go back to the B diminished chord for a minute and notice that if I were to raise the F to F sharp, for instance, B minor 6. Now, in the previous lesson, what we did was lower a note of the diminished to half step. If I lowered that F to E, E7. So in a sense, by we could create a little movement here by raise, first raising the diminished note, then lowering it, and then landing on the diminished note itself, like this. And so what we've really done here is gone from B flat minor to E7 to the diminished of E7, and from that point we might resolve. So uh, underneath all that, I'm going to put one of the related dominants, B flat 7. So what we get is this. And if I were to resolve to E flat major, let's try that one more time. I can put B flat 7 in the bass because that's one of the dominant seventh chords that comes from lowering one note in turn off of the B diminished. The progression I'm starting with in the right hand, B minus 6, comes from raising a note of that same diminished. So um, let's try that one more time. What I'd like you to do is, um, from that first example, what I'd like you to do is try all the other positions along the diminished. The next one might be this. If I were to raise the D up to D sharp or E flat, A flat minus 6. Whole step below or half step below D is D flat 7 resolves back to the diminished. So against B flat 7, we have this. So you'll find that every spot along the diminished works the same way and will play beautifully over top of B flat 7 going to E flat major. When we come back, we're going to try an application to this.